Hey guys, this may be the shortest video that I've ever, ever made. So basically what this is about is I have a customer who wants a sign that's 24 by 32. They want it heavy. They want it to last forever. So I'm doing my best to honor their wishes. So it's basically a high school hockey team. And I guess they decided that they're never going to change the name of the team and so on and so forth up here in upstate New York. So I made this out of a bunch of oak pieces. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get the width. And then the length is, of course, a bit easier to cut. And I should have made the video from the get-go, but hindsight is 2020, and I never... Yeah, I'm, I'm bad at this. So anyway... What I did is I cut each piece of oak to 32 inches and it's going to be a little bit bigger than 32 because I'm going to put some trim around the perimeter of this when it's all said and done. So it'll probably wind up being 33 by maybe 24, I'm sorry, 25, but they'll be okay with that. I already <laughs> forewarned them. Tight Bond 3 is my go-to glue. It's food safe inside outside so I mean obviously I've made a ton of cutting boards charcuterie boards cheese boards with this from maple um, padauk and purple heart primarily I've made some for myself just to test them and I even threw one through a, a small cheese board threw it through the dishwasher just to see how it would hold up so far so good I mean I did it once, but you're not going to want to do that every time you want to clean it. Although I trust this Type On 3, I tend to use biscuits just because I don't want this thing falling apart or warping and then have them come back and tell me there's an issue. So I guess you can see those lines. I do the edges, one down the center. So there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six times three. There's 18 biscuits in this 24 by 32 foundation of a sign that I'm getting ready to make. And I've got my clamps, Jorgensen. I, I've had good luck with these. I don't think you need to spend $10 billion on clamps or anything fancy. Um, one thing you don't want to do is over tighten your clamps because you'll press all the glue out and you're not going to have much left to make you know a very solid and reliable joint now what I tend to do is I tighten these up kind of incrementally I ha have these pieces of angle iron top and bottom and these pieces of angle iron and these two clamps are basically to keep this flat. These two clamps here and here compress the boards together but these guys keep them flat. If you've ever done this and you just kind of use you know these clamps in the center and you wondered why things were kind of warped I'm not going to lie, using this system keeps things very, very flat. Unfortunately, this is too wide to go through my planer, so I'm going to be doing a ton of hand sanding to get this, you know, nice and pretty, so to speak. Um, I got this dollar store plastic wrap, and what I do is I put this on top of the bars of these um, horizontal clamps just just to kind of keep them clean and keep the glue off but what I really like about this steel angle iron is the glue doesn't adhere to this so when it's time to take this apart and I normally wait 24 hours it's gonna come off with just a tap of a hammer if that there's not going to be any residue any left behinds I'm not gonna have to sand anything crazy because I used a couple of 2x4s. However, you can use scrap pieces of wood 
if you put the plastic wrap between your workpiece and your clamping piece. So I hope that makes sense. Like I said, this will be the shortest video I've ever made, I think. And these are the biscuits that I use. They're basswood. They work really, really well. I haven't had a failure. Knock wood on any of my cutting boards or charcuterie boards. And I know a lot of people just end glue them together, but my faith is weak in this kind of stuff. So I use biscuits in everything. Furniture, charcuterie boards, cutting boards, cheese boards, and I'm sure it's overkill, over engineering. But again, I haven't had an issue. So when this is dry tomorrow, we're going to sand the snot out of this. And we will, uh, yeah, we're going to cut out the actual, it's, did I say it was for a hockey team? They gave us an image that they want, so we're going to cut that out on the uh, laser, the Omtech, and I'm going to frame this out, as I said. And then we're going to center that, get everything squared away. They're kind of country folk in upstate New York, so they want this stained to medium dark. So once it's sanded, I'll, I'll do the staining. I'll get the cutout pieces for the hockey team centered. Um, I'm going to screw them down, glue, stain, and I just don't want this stuff falling off on the floor while somebody's admiring it. So anyway, guys, real quick video on how I keep things flat when I'm gluing up. Hope this helps you out. And... I can't even believe it. Today's March 1st, 2024. It's almost 5.30 p.m. Got home from work about an hour and a half ago and started this project for them because I'm on a crunch. They need it by the 8th of this month, so I don't have a lot of time. And, of course, the old saying goes, don't make your lack of planning become my emergency. Well, I like these people, so it has become my emergency. But anyway, guys, have a great night, and if we don't talk this weekend, have a great weekend, and we will talk soon. Take care now.